Cobby Bartoli stage two. Now, this was an absolute cracker. Now, they've done it a couple of years in a row. Um, anyway, this is the climb. So, but it's kind of like rolling into a big, proper, climby, steep wall towards the finish. This is the early break with a Svihofer and a Korotek boy. This was the main group. So, we had um, Brambila, the race leader, Schmidt, Gloag. Uh, then you had Sean Quinn. And you also had uh, James Shaw as well. So a pretty strong group all round. Um, they were kind of quite far out at the moment, but they look like they're pretty close. Anyway, Brambilla drops back because Canzoni, um, another Q36 and a half guy, um, is bridging across. He managed to get him back on. So they're in quite a strong position here. Q36 and a half with two guys there. So decent. Um, and again, I guess same to, as EF with two people. Racing the Mario Schmidt, I thought there'd be more attacking of him. But alas, that actually was not a crazy amount, but the thing we want to talk about today is, is Sean Quinn. So we can see we're onto the sort of final, uh, into one to, into the final main climb of the day where they catch the break and Sean Quinn uh, is looking very, very strong. Him and James Shaw, he's on the front at the moment. Now, Sean Quinn is an American rider, like, was an action. Uh, some of my friends said he's an absolutely outrageous power, um, but some of the numbers here today were really, really impressive as well. Um, and yeah, it looks like a solid, solid guy. So you can see Mara Schmidt here again, looking pretty comfortable. The group behind was a long way back. You can see uh, Trex chasing and they're about to launch an absolutely flying Tets Fats on to try and get across. Mm, it's not going to work too well, to be honest. Uh, in reality, the, the gap was pretty big. They'd already been dispatched early on. Here's Tets Fats on going across. People like Pots of Evil were trying to come with him. Um, but alas, it, it just was too far. And uh, you can see here Mark Padun as well, James Knox. Uh, they're all trying to get across as well. So pretty tough day out um, for the for the trek, to be honest, missing out on this. But anyway, it does seem like uh, they, uh, you know, they, they did okay in um, some other races later on, like uh, the one I did at Indo GB Industry and after Ginato. Anyway, Brambilla would get like, what, 2K to go, basically, 3K to go, maybe. And Brambilla kind of just does a turn, looks down, sees no one's on his wheel. It's like, okay, okay, let's go. So he launched on the other side of the road. EF, I don't really know what they're doing. They kind of like leave it. I guess it's a similar situation. Um, you've probably seen this finish from last year as well. It's such a steep wall that like it's kind of over a kilometer long as well. Like it's going to be pretty hard to uh, to actually like not bring him back on this because he's going to be doing such a max effort into the bottom. You can see the change of speed already. Like it's so hard as well to go from one from such a high speed to such a low speed. Um, so yeah, pretty pretty tough. You can see here though, Maris Schmidt, and uh, Canzoni have made a gap ahead of James Shaw and Sean Quinn. And this looked like disaster for EF. But actually, to be honest, it gets flat. And who's going to drive the pace? I think probably Q36.5 should have done. Because Canzoni, I reckon, would have been Schmidt in a sprint. But anyway, they all set up 500 metres to go. Quinn and James Shaw make it back. It goes up again. You can see here, um, Brambilla's doing a big effort again. Uh, I guess maybe trying to keep it away. Or just doesn't know he's being caught. Mara Schmidt looks pretty comfortable. But he, again is, I guess, just looking for attacks. He doesn't want to lose any time on GC. So he's pretty comfortable here. They finally get over the top of the climb onto a downhill run and with a left-hand corner into the final sprint. You can see everyone looks absolutely cracked. Um, Sean Quinn did AWOS Piquito up that climb um, before getting into the sprint. So it's going to be a yeah, right-hand corner. And Sean Quinn, to be honest, is like waiting, waiting, waiting. 150 meters to go. Mad uh, Marish. So with 150 meters to go, Mara Schmidt is leading out. No one's launching. Sean Quinn goes earliest, about 125 meters to go. And once he starts kicking, no one comes close, to be honest. Easy win for the man. Cracked out 1160 peak, so pretty strong sprint. Anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.